Hey everybody, I'm going to do a pour today and it's going to be based on Virginia Tech's school colors, the college Virginia Tech. So it's going to be Alizarin Crimson Liquitex Basics. I'm going to mix together Master's Touch Fluorescent, Orange, and Vermilion. So I want the Vermilion, which is a little deeper orange, but I want to add a pop to it with the Fluorescent. I've got a gray that is mixed in my bottle. Black and white, everything is mixed one-to-one -one ratio with Floetrol. And my black and white are the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic that comes in the quart bottles. Black and white is that. And then I'm going to use OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum, which has dimethicone in the first ingredient. That's the key. And I've got it in a bottle, and I'm going to use just a dropper dot, just a drop in each color. And I've got my white premixed in here to spread on my canvases. Working on two 11 by 14s. And I'm going to do a dirty pour, and then I'm going to let it dry. And in another video, I will show how I embellish it with the college logo. So I'm going to be quiet and mix my paints, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I have the colors mixed up. I'm actually not going to use gray. Wait. Yeah, I'm not going to use gray. I'm going to use just a pinch of black, white, orange, and crimson. I want really mostly crimson and white and black and just a hint of orange. See, I'm referring to my colors on my phone here. So, I'm going to keep that over to the side so I can look at this just to make sure I'm okay. And then, sometimes the best way to know if your colors are working together is just to do a little sample piece. So I've got a little bit of cardstock here, and I'm just going to do a little bit my white had a little plug in it so sometimes the paint will dry up kind of in the tip of that nozzle and you have to go in with the toothpick and get it out so a little white A little bit of orange, squirt of black. Okay. And because this is so small, I'm going to give it a little swirl. And then, you know what I forgot? I forgot OGX. One drop. That's all and a few stirs. So I may not have any cells in this sample here because I didn't use the OGX. That's okay. I just want to see the colors, the combination. Because see how strong that orange is? Okay, so I'm going to tilt and just see if the orange takes over, then I need to use very, very little orange. See, that, that did not even have any OGX in it, and it's got cells. So this tells me right here my orange is really super powerful. And 
So I'm just, I'm going to look at the images here. Yeah, I guess they're about half and half, but this is not half and half, so I, I need to go very lightly on the orange. All right, so this is an 11 by 14 canvas, and if I go to my chart, which I keep on my phone, this is a great idea is to put this image on your phone, and then you can always pull it up. 11 by 14 takes 5 ounces of paint. So I'm going to... This is a 7 ounce cup, so this means I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill it up pretty full. And I've got two canvases to pour with this color combination. So I'm going to start with a little bit of white. I'm going to go with a good amount of crimson, pop of black, a little bit of orange, white, crimson, a little bit of orange, black, Crimson, white, maybe a little black. I think that's about it. I want to make sure I have enough for the next one. And then one thing I haven't done and I do want to do is put a light coat of white on the canvas. That just gives it a little bit of a wet surface for the paint to glide over. So I'm going to take my Wilton icing spreader, just quickly give it a fast coat. So just making sure it's covered, but it does not have to be perfect because I'm pouring paint over it. But I do want every bit of that primed canvas to have a little bit of wet paint on it. Okay? So flip it over. I'm going to take a pin here, poke some holes. That just releases the air in the cup and the suction. And then I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. I'm going to take canvas number two, give it a coat of white. I'll go ahead and torch this to get rid of the bubbles. So now this one. Start with a little white, crimson, black, white, some orange. Oops, I put a lot of orange in there. I didn't mean to. A little black. And then my finger's holding the, the holes underneath because of the, the holes I punched in the cup. So, I'm trying to keep it contained here. I think 
That'll be enough. This one has more orange in it because I, I let too much go in, but anyway. All right. I'll heat this one real quick. And I'm going to shift. Move things out of the way just a bit here. I'm going to give this another minute. I'll be right back. Okay, let's do this and see what happens. I think I'm going to go ahead and shift this way a little bit. And I know you can see there on the side my I'm missing some paint, but I'll touch that up in a minute. So now I'm going to try to shift back a little bit. I'm going to be doing a logo on top of this, so I'm thinking kind of out loud. Um, kind of don't want all this black here, so I'm trying to think. If I just... That's a little too big. That kind of went orange and pink, but it got rid of the, the black. Maybe I can put a little of this crimson color. Swipe it one more time. It brings that white out from underneath, so I have to be really careful with that. I think that's better. So we're going to scoot this over and do this one. Let me clean my hands off. Okay, this time I'm coming this way first.
a lot of orange. Lots of orange. But I'm trying to get rid of a lot of this black too. So I want to cover some of that orange. So I think what I'm going to do is take this red, I'm going to stick a little black in this red, deepen it just a bit. go over some of the black first. This one's totally different. I don't like this area here. It looks very Halloween-y. So I'm just going to come over it with this a little bit. So this looks totally different from this one because I put a little black into the red, which is okay. Okay, that doesn't work. Can't can't bring that white up. So, eh, I'm not sure. I'm just going to have to see. I'm a, I'll have to let them dry, and I'll maybe send them to the person, my, person that I'm paying them for just to make sure that they're okay with the color combination, and then I'll do the logo on top of it. I think that's the best way to proceed. So there's that one. There's this one. And I'm thinking the Virginia Tech logo would probably be in white or black. Or black with a white outline or something like that to tie everything together. So, okay, I'm going to move these off the table. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the links below the video, down below, and also the bell in the corner. If you are a subscriber and you click on the bell, you'll get notifications when I do post new videos, so you can stay on top of everything. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.